hello everyone i hope you are doing well in the previous video i had discussed about pharmacokinetics today i will discuss about routes of drug administration one by one i will talk about each route in detail today i will talk about anteral route and first we will tell about what uh, routes of drug determine it determines the speed duration of action intensity of action at given site and often its safety the routes are chosen according to the need condition of the patient and the nature of the drug the available routes are anteral parenteral topical and inhalation routes but first we must keep in mind with which route is convenient for patient now we move toward the first route that is oral route which is commonly used route by this route the drug is given through the mouth and drug orally absorbed through the git and maximum drug absorption takes place in the small intestine different oral preparations are available such as tablet capsule syrup elixirs and suspension etc this route can also be used for local action of the drugs which are neither absorbed nor destroyed for example enthalmentics these are the agents which are used to remove the worms from the body such as piperazine purgatives which are used to remove the constipation of the patient such as biscodile dulcolex what are the advantages of this route it is natural route of drug administration it is commonly used route it is an inexpensive route it is comparatively safe route it is convenient route that is easy to take the drug it is acceptable route it is painless route does not require the medical assistant gastric lavage is easily done by this route this route can be used for the local action of the drug what are the disadvantages it cannot be used in emergency situation it cannot be used in the patient suffering from vomiting irritant drugs cannot be given by this route it cannot be used for poorly lipid soluble drugs such as streptomycin canamycin and gentamicin and it cannot be used for the drugs which are destroyed in the gut such as oxytocin benzylpentstein insulin it cannot be used for the drugs which cause discoloration of the teeth and it cannot be used in the unconscious patient these are the different disadvantages of the oral route now we move toward the second route that is sublingual route sub means under lingual means tongue so this route the drugs are placed under the tongue the absorption takes place through buccal mucosa because in the buccal mucosa there is a bed of capillaries through which the drug is rapidly absorbed and reached directly into the blood circulation for example nitroglycerin angicid which is used in the angina pectoris isosorbide isordel which can act as coronary vasodilator isoprenaline seventrine acts as bronchodilator by this route drugs are saved from the intestinal enzymes what are the advantages of this route it is very inexpensive and economical route it is painless route it is quick acting route it is very simple route what are the disadvantages it is used for limited number of the drugs for example nitroglycerin isoprenaline isosorbide it is not suitable for unpleasant and irritated irritating drugs large dose of the drug cannot be given by this route no next we have rectal route by this route drugs are introduced into the rectum this route can be used for the local as well as systemic action suppositories ointments lotion containing antiseptics local anesthetics and anti inflammatory drugs are used as rectal preparation which are given in piles or hemorrhoids and anal fissures enemas can be used by this route to remove the constipation of the patient because it irritates the rectal mucosa and results in the evacuation of the bowel suppositories can be commonly used to remove the constipation in the babies and the children what are the advantages it can be used for the unconscious and vomiting patients when oral route is not suitable and veins are collapsed enemas are given through this route to remove the constipation of the patient it is commonly used route in the babies it can be used for the local action of the drug for example example lignocaine ointment for the treatment of the hemorrhoid piles this advantage is patient cooperation is necessary and patient may like or dislike this route in the next video i will discuss about the parenteral route one by one in detail and for more information like subscribe my channel thank you